Let's read a book. Let's read a book. Today we are going to read Martin Luther King Jr., a peaceful leader. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in 1929. He and his family live in a pretty yellow house in Atlanta, Georgia. His father was a minister. There were lots of books at home. Young Martin was a happy child, but as he grew older, he realized that black people and white people were not treated the same way. Once Martin's father took him to buy new shoes, the white salesman asked them to move to the back of the store. They left. Another time, Martin accidentally stepped on a white lady's toe. She slapped him or called him a bad name. He did not react with anger. He believed that bravery meant peacefully standing your ground. At home, Martin learned to listen, ask questions, and speak up. He finished high school in just two years. He went to college at age 15. Then he continued his studies. Should he be a lawyer, a doctor, perhaps a professor? Martin chose to become a minister, like his father and grandfather. He earned his PhD and became Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In the United States in the 1950s, black people and white people were still not treated as equals. Separating black people and white people was known as segregation. In some states, they were separated as not as nice bathrooms, playgrounds, and schools for black people. Black people have to give up their bus seats for white passengers. Dr. King and his new wife Carrera moved to Montgomery, Alabama. He had a job as a pastor at a church. His words were powerful. He was a natural leader. He joined the civil rights movement. Other black leaders were impressed by the young preacher. They thought he would be a good person to help lead their cause. Then a moment came where Dr. Kim felt he could make a difference. A woman named Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on a bus. She was arrested. This was in 1955. It happened in Montgomery. Dr. King and other civil rights leaders organized a protest. Dr. King urged black people to stop riding the city buses. For 381 days, most black people stopped riding buses to work. They walk and carpooled. Dr. King walk with them. The process work. The Supreme Court ruled that buses in Montgomery will no longer be segregated. Dr. King helped change the law. He had changed it peacefully. Under Dr. King's leadership, the civil rights movement grew. Black people bravely sat down in whites-only restaurants. Black children bravely attended whites-only schools. Black people and white people marched together. They kept protesting unfair laws, and they did it peacefully. Some people were afraid of what would happen if laws were changed. Some were so angry they shouted, set fires, and beat protesters. Once, a bomb went off on Dr. King's porch. 
Dr. Kidd and other leaders were arrested many times. Dr. Kidd showed everyone how to stand up for what is right. Peacefully protest took courage. In 1963, thousands of people marched in Washington, D.C. Dr. Kim gave a powerful speech. The world watched him on TV. In 1964, Dr. Kim won the Nobel Peace Prize, a reward for his work to create fairness without violence. Then, one day in 1968, a white man shot Dr. King. Dr. King died the next day. Millions mourned him. Dr. King had known he might not live to see liberty and justice for all, but he believed they were things worth dying for. Dr. King's courage and his love his ability to lead and to be her will live on. In his short lifetime, Dr. King changed the way people saw one another. Si te gustó este video, dale me gusta y no te olvides de suscribirte. También entra a www.cadacosta.com para adquirir práctica de este y de otros temas, productos exclusivos y tener la oportunidad de matricularte a mis clases de inglés.